the area than what I am, so thanks for that. Uh, why this presentation here today? It's more of a celebration of what the Construction IT Alliance has done in 2019. And then with a focus on our aims and our plans moving into 2020. So I'm going to just take us through 2019 and the impact that this year has had and what it has produced. And then Alan's going to come up and just take us forward into 2020 and explain where we're going. But before I do that, can I just draw your attention to the survey that you'll have in your packs that is on the table. It would really be uh, appreciative if you could spend some time completing this for us and leaving the survey on the table. We can then input it into our software and we'll be able to start drawing analysis and conclusions from there and it'll further help guide us for 2020. So where to start? Well, we start where we are today, the digital transformation series. We've had six fabulous events. The fourth one concentrated on off-site construction, where we looked at Graham's. And some of the work that they're doing in the housing, the educational, as well as one-off projects in Dublin City Airport, and how they're using lean BIM technologies in order to drive efficiencies and productivity off-site. And this was actually our most attended event and gained probably the most interest from the audience. We also looked at BIM for infrastructure and looked at the Bergen Rail case study. We moved towards the educational sector as we progressed. And we looked at not just BIM for postgraduate course, but we looked at BIM in the secondary schools. Um, how classes are own, have, started in, have integrated their own process over in the UK. And fantastically, you know, we now have a student from TU Dublin. He's a secondary school teacher on the MSE in Applied BIM and Management, Nigel Wern, And he's actually brought that model across and launched it in the fourth secondary school here in Ireland. So we are starting to bring the likes of tech, digital technologies and BIM now into secondary school. We moved to looking at the certification. The big role of BRE are playing in driving certification in Ireland, as well as how NSLI have launched now ISO accreditation 9650, and how they have launched a trial pad of a number of companies and organisations. And they were here and they were explaining some of the great success that they're having in this particular area. So that's only going to go from strength to strength. We also discussed the digital twins concept and how just building information modelling is just a start. It's where we begin and how we can take that on when we hand over the model into the asset and how we can use that then for live data and integration. And we also had a representative on that day uh, from the Cambridge Design and Build Centre who discussed their digital twins initiative and as well as what a digital centre should look at and some of the things that Ireland should look at in regard when we get there. So it's been an absolutely fantastic success and we've taken some of the key lessons that we took from this 2019 and we're hoping to launch there in 2020. The Tech Trend series is a more intimate workshop and we're starting to look at technologies that are only at the, the cusp in Ireland. Such these include drone technology to help, which is quite big, but using it to help uh, spot littering and feeding that back instantly to the Garda. Uh, Smart Dublin City, uh, Docklands, we looked at how virtual reality is being used by the property development sector to take the fear out of planning, how people are able to come in and see what this development could look like, perform, provide an online community as well to interact, as well as how artificial intelligence has been used by the quantity surveying divisions. Uh, and there's a really interesting uh, software that just won a, uh, a big award for a recent uh, starting company. All of this information is on CEDA's website, all the presentations, all the videos, and there's case studies to go along with each one of these. So all this information is there. So if you're interested and you want to get started up, and this is an area of particular attention, all that information is there. So have a look, because you can actually see the huge amount of work that's gone on and all the topics covered in this year alone. So here's an idea of some of the attendances. And we can see down at the top is the digital transition series to the tech trend. And what we actually found is that as the year progressed, we got more of an online presence than a physical presence. So we're starting to see that, uh, I suppose, at the start of the year, we're getting large numbers. But then by the end of the year, we're getting even larger numbers compared in here online. So I would hazard a guess here saying that the online numbers will probably be around, I'd say, 70 or 80. Uh, so between them, I'd say on average, we could be getting per event 130, 140 between online and in. 
<coughs> physically here. So that can kind of help influence as well for 2020, where we might start looking at a, more of an online format for particular uh, workshops. The CWM gathering was another huge success. We had over 35 papers, 250 different attendees. Uh, we moved to the Galway and we hoped that people would come down and follow. They did in their droves. It's uh, now a, a celebrated event every two years. So we're already putting plans in place for the 2020, uh, sorry, 2021 CWM gathering. So this event continues to gain traction. And maybe I'm being a bit biased, but I think it's uh, definitely the, the most celebrated BIM conference uh, within the country. I know we only have it every two years, so maybe that adds the prestige behind it. Most of you might have been aware that in 2016 to 2018, we had the BIM Innovation Capability Program of Ireland. And we decided that this year, we were going to launch a number of different research arms from the BICP. And ultimately, the goal was to produce a report called BIM in Ireland 2019. So this is an update from our 2017 report. This report is now available. Uh, so if you contact anyone on the CETA team, there's only a small fee involved in it, but for the information with regards to it, it's, it's, it's definitely a bargain. Um, what we did in here is we started off, we did maturity surveys on the market in Ireland, where we're going, who are the leaders. We talked with the education sectors, updated across the board about all the educational offerings. We did numerous surveys and interviews talking to the industry and trying to gauge an understanding of where we are project-wise and BIM in Ireland. So what we have in here is we have this report and it ultimately celebrates BIM in Ireland. And we talk about some of the issues we're facing in the construction industry, how digital transformation and technology are helping to target these, the government initiatives. We looked at example company, countries such as the UK and Estonia and then we moved on to focusing really on BIM in Ireland. And one of the key things which we did in order to kind of get a a real strong understanding of that is that we created a BIM and Ireland umbrella group. So we asked all the representatives, professional bodies across the country, to give one representative that was probably chairing their individual BIM subcommittee. So we brought them together. I think we had about six meetings this year, and the whole goal was that we offered an additional environment that was open and neutral, and that people can share information and talk to each other and see what's going on across discipline. Now, this is already happening. A lot of different organizations are doing this and talking to each other, but it just opened another platform. And in the BIM and Ireland report, we have an update on what's going on in each individual chapter, as well as links to important documentation, such as the RIE BIM pack, which was probably the most uh, significant uh, impact made within the professional groups this year, because we actually have templates now that we can use moving forward into BIM projects. Very importantly, we had our war skills competition and we had our two gentlemen up here, which were the winners. This is a, an absolutely brilliant achievement moving forward and sets a template for any of, anyone else going forward into the BIM skills. So they went over to Kazakhstan and they took home gold and the fourth BIM skills live event. And it's a terrific achievement and we've been celebrating this uh, the last couple of events. And I've no doubt we'll continue to celebrate it. So I'm going to ask Alan up now, and I'm going to pass over to him. So what we're looking at for 2020 is our team at this moment, which is up to debate, is modern construction methods. So we reached out across all of Ireland, and you can see down the survey down here, we've got a kind of a really dispersed response across all of Ireland, all the regions, giving us an idea of what we should cover, what they want covered, and what our focus should be for 2020. So Alan's just going to go through that now in a bit more detail and talk about some of the key findings. Thanks, Barry. Thanks very much.